Okay, first historical photo. Library closed. Okay, until further notice. And here's our Heinz Plaza. Empty except for one solitary sitter. Now let's proceed up to Nassau Street and the University. Okay, here's the Starbucks Coffee Cafe, Cafe and Nassau Street on Saturday, March 13th about. And uh, though it's not bustling, there are still people around. Let's, let's go down and peek into Starbucks. Well, you can't see that, but Starbucks is empty. So I'm not going to poke through it because they don't like uh, cameras in Starbucks. Try to go right up to the wall. Yeah, now you can see it. Right up to the glass, and you can see Starbucks is empty. So let's continue on to the Paneers, which is the other big one. Okay, same at Paneers. Paneers is empty. Absolutely empty. Okay, now, this might be due to the students having left, but there's no telling. Here's Here's the Goba, and it is also almost empty on the Saturday evening. Okay, can't hardly see that, but yes, it's empty. And this is PJ's. And I'm sure you can't see that, but it's entirely empty. Okay, here's the most amazing picture you'll ever see if you've lived in Princeton all your life. It is Prospect Street, empty, deserted, vacated on a Saturday evening in early spring when bickers should be starting up and when it should be really crowded and people should be really thumping to get into the clubs. Okay, I'm in the parking lane, cruising down with nary a car in my sight. Colonial, Tiger, Cottage, no, I, I, Ivy, I don't know, Ivy. One of them is Cottage. I guess there's Cottage. And even the Third, third World Center. Okay, the, the new Carl Fields Center that was built after the uh, old center was torn down. And here's cabin gown. Everything deserted. Absolutely unity, uniformity, and the abandonment of the clubs. They knew that the sanitation would not be up to up to stay snuff. Okay? And they would be a high high contagion place. But absolutely closed down. We're just going back up Olden. I'm sure you remember Olden. That, that was a big And uh, all this is a new building, and uh, except for this, which was being built when we came to town, for better and worse. And uh, 
Only eight people on the street are Asians, ironically. Okay, so I'm gonna ride you just a little bit further. I know that if you remembered Alfred Kahn's houses that were up here, and then they were torn down and made for visitors, international visitors housing. Okay, so if they were open with packed with people, they would be a major, major infection point. So this was the most incredible little trip I have ever made and ever will make. And it just goes to show the terrible, terrible cost of this one little virus that causes COVID-19. So, if you're not a believer, reserve your ventilators and research septicemia, uremia, and related blood poisoning. Okay? Let's take one more look for old time's sake. Guess where? Okay. Amazing. Still crowded. No one can stop the lust for for Hoagie Haven Hoagies. So many of the students have left. If I didn't get this footage now, hello. Hi. Uh, I probably won't be able to get any at all because these appear to be the last people leaving. And they set up a couple of tents, but the uh, the uh, dorms appear to be black. And I will definitely get pictures of black window dorms as time goes on. This is for historical purposes so that the future can plan in advance for these kinds of pandemics or epidemics. But anyway, there they go. And uh, hopefully the school will reopen in the fall. This is March 13th, Saturday evening.